Feynman had in his community on Long Island formed the acquaintance of a young woman, Arlene Greenbaum, and he would invite her down to Princeton from time to time for dances at the Graduate College. And we put her up at our house. That poor girl had very little money, so to get instruction in art, which is what her favorite subject was, she gave piano instruction by day and had art instruction by night. And this wore her out, and she had got what the doctors with their blundering diagnoses did not realize until too late was tuberculosis. She kindly gave us a couple of her drawings, but I don't know what has happened to them now. But against the advice of his parents, they married. But to give her a place to live, which would be better for somebody in her condition, he was happy to accept the offer to go to New Mexico on the atomic project. Then she could be in the tuberculosis hospital in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I recall having stopped there once a week before she died, seeing her lying there in the bed with the tubes feeding oxygen in. But the car which Richard Feynman from time to time used to go from Los Alamos to Albuquerque and back to visit Arlene was a car of Klaus Fuchs who turned out to be a spy. <laughs>